Hello and welcome everyone. Today I'm headed to the Kraken Rope Bridge to get a whitetail. This mission can be a tricky one, but I've got a plan. So for hope number six, I need to get one at a distance. I'll have to travel to Kraken Rope Bridge and harvest a white-tailed deer down from at least 200 meters away with a scoped rifle. The mission itself is pretty straightforward. I'll need to shoot a white tail within the highlighted area as long as the shot distance is 200 meters or more. The problem is there aren't a lot of sight lines within that area where you can see 200 meters, let alone have a deer happen to be there at the right time. I've done this mission in the past and each time there's been a need zone around the same general area. The requirements for this mission make their sense of smell more or less null and void. 200 meters is far enough away where they won't smell me. The area around the rope bridge has some water, so my plan is to scout one in a drink zone between 8 and 12, then find a line of sight that is over the 200 meters. So first things first, I crossed over the border into the Kraken rope bridge area from the south at night. I brought a tent with me so that I wouldn't have to travel all the way from an outpost to get here again. At some point in the past few days I was hunting for moose when I found a need zone for whitetails at the mouth of the river. Sadly I didn't record my discovery, but searching by the water's edge for whitetail drink zones did the trick. When I returned a few days later, the first thing I did was mark the exact location I found the need zone. This would help me locate an area to shoot from that was 200 meters away. Next, I went to all the spots around that made the most sense. My first thought, of course, was the rope bridge itself. I could see the marker, but I noticed a few things right off the bat. First is that I couldn't see very much around the marker, so my line of sight was fairly minimal. Second, it was about 270 meters away. That's not outside the range of a scoped rifle, but I would prefer to be closer if possible. To complicate this as well, the bridge itself was often in the way of my shot. The second spot I considered was a field on a hill to the south. I was closer to the zone, maybe even a little too close, but I had a very poor line of sight. Plus the tall grass made it hard to go prone for a steady shot. The third option I considered was using a tripod stand via the tree stand and tripod pack. I could set it up along the edge of the river at an appropriate distance. It would certainly work given the marker location and gave me a clear line of sight to the whole area. But the spot I ultimately chose is vanilla friendly, as it's along the southern edge of the river in front of the rope bridge. It's elevated with a clear line of sight to the zone at about 230 meters. If I go prone near the edge, an accurate kill shot with a 270 or 7 millimeter is very doable. With my plan in place, I moved the tent 250 meters away from the need zone. Tents have a 200 meter perimeter around them that spooks animals away when you spawn in set a time or put one down. 250 meters is my preferred distance as it also considers any animals that might be around that need zone. I was now ready to go so I set the time in the tent to 845 to begin the hunt. I then made my way over to the vantage point and waited for the deer to arrive. Turns out my location was right next to some sort of animal highway. I heard all kinds of activity behind me from turkeys and moose, but most importantly, whitetails. Eventually, a few of the deer that went by me ended up going right into my zone. I ranged them out to be about 230 to 240 meters away. The gun was zeroed for 150 meters, so I wanted to hold my shot a little high for bullet drop. I picked the best of the group and took a shot. The other buck hung around as well, so I tried my luck with him too.
I got the first one in the spine, missing his vital organs. I guess I held that shot a little too high. He scored 188, so if I had passed the harvest check, he would have been around 5 points away from gold. The important thing here, though, is that I got him within the Kraken Rope Ridge area at 246 meters, so he will qualify for the objective. Now let's check the other one. Again, my shot hit high and got him in the spine. This guy scored 162, so he would have scored high silver if I had passed the harvest check. But he also would have qualified for the objective, as I hit him at 226 meters. Well, it took a little homework, but it turned into a great hunt. If this video was helpful or you learned something along the way, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll be adding more of these guides as I go along with my progression, so be sure to check in for more Call of the Wild content. Thanks for watching!